to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day, the very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. I don't see her running. How come she never called an ambulance? Ugh. How did I end up back here? I hate Mondays. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? I don't know. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Or maybe he simply went crazy! Oops. Yeah. Wait. I want to jump through those windows, but there's no jump. That's going to be crazy. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No, we're going right this time. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. No. We're just going right this way. Look! 447, get with the times. We don't use those phones anymore. See, 450's on. Oh, 450, man, you're like me. You gotta deal with a little desk lamp. Ah, yes, Is truly that... a room worth admiring. Who leaves a notepad it really be behind? Worth the detour after all just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, Ooh, beautifully constructed that. room. Stanley's Journal here, of Frightened Employee in. and Lounge Day. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. I was looking at this paper on the floor. Thank you very much! And where's the tea? Point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. It's possible that this is why everyone left. Coffee nut. You're crazy, me. Ooh, what's this one say? Fuel. Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue. But when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. Let me guess. Leave! Move on! Make progress, please! Stop staring at everything. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Why left? Everybody wants to go left. Not right or straight. What's this way? See, this is different. Don't close on me. I'm just peeking. I'm just peeking. Oh, that's right. I can't jump. Ooh, caution. Do not lie. If you're lying right now, stop. Because honesty is the best policy. I want to read that blueprint. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Yeah, but I'm looking. Look at how different this room is. We got blueprints, we got triangles, we got architecturally stuff. It's not office space anymore. It's backroom storage space. Oh, but I need a key card. Warning! Do not jump from cargo lift while it is in motion. Will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift, $1,000. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift, $5,000. I want to go down there. I want to go through docking... That dock number B. One that's open. 
Well, there's no options that way, so let's go this way. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not sure that way. Really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. We go this way. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? What? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you. I want to do something beautiful. Like Look, what? Let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Okay, how do you want me to give you a chance? What's this way? But you locked the store. If you wanted to give, if you see, you're not flexible, Mr. Narrator. You're not flexible. Danger, danger everywhere. Is that true? Are these boxes gonna fly out and rip my head off? I don't see anything. Be 